Hi, it's Joan. This week I'd like to look at the curious case of balancing. When the auction goes one heart from the opponent, pass, pass to you, there are some things you should consider about this auction. Number one, they've opened not a game force, so they'll have a good hand, but they haven't got 20 points. And their partner hasn't even got six points. So if you've got about eight or 10 points and you're short in the suit they've opened, there's every reason to think that if you come into the auction and balance, you will find a fit. Even the situation where the opponents have gone one heart past two hearts, pass, pass, and your partner doesn't want to pass the bidding out. If you balance, usually with a double, then your side might make a contract. If the opponents have got an eight card fit, it's very likely that you've got an eight card fit as well. And if the opponents only want to stay at the two level, then the points are pretty evenly divided. So you should be in the auction finding your own fit. That's what balancing is all about. So try the hand I've given you and see how you go. Email me with any questions. And I've just finished October Zoom lessons and next week we're starting November Zooms. There'll be three lessons in the November Zooms and I've chosen three lessons on defence. One of them is discarding where we often have real problems throwing away and keeping the right cards and letting partner know what we'd like them to switch to. But also looking at the implications of partner's lead and why is declarer not drawing trumps? Why is declarer uh, trumping, trying to trump in the dummy? All of these little clues should help us to know how the defence should go. The other course is on modern bidding and I'd like to introduce the two over one game force approach to bidding. It's not hard, it's actually easier than what you play now. So it's not changing your whole system, it's just fixing up some parts of standard which we're letting us down. Holidays are coming up at the end of November, my bridge holidays, and there's still room for the Hunter Valley at the end of November and Orange um, right in the beginning of December. Go onto my website and have a look at holidays. And if you feel like getting away, as a lot of us do feel like having been locked down for so long, then book in and let's have fun on one of my, or even both of my holidays. We have 10 points, shortage in hearts, not enough to do anything at this stage because we don't know what's going to happen in the bidding. The opponents have reached a heart fit and they wanted to stay only at the two level. Now is the time to balance. Partner will know we don't have an opening hand because we've already passed. We're short in hearts and the opponents only want to play at the two level. There's a very good chance that we've got a fit on this hand, so double. Sure enough, partner bids two spades and we pass. And can we make two spades? We've got two heart losers, one club loses three, one diamond loses four, and we need to hold our spade losers to one if we possibly can. They're returning a heart, so we'll trump that. Now, Let's take the finesse and see what happens. Try the queen, loses to the king. Now we've got a hope that the jack is in the other hand, in the west hand. So play a spade to the nine, try the ten. Sure enough, was right. There's one spade out. Play the ace, down the jack will come. And we're in good shape. Our club's a winner. And we've got only one diamond loser. So play diamonds.
now we make the eighth trick with the last spade. So all good. Um, if the opponents had been in hearts, they would have lost two diamonds and one club and one spade. They'd have made it and we made two spades. So it worked well to make a balancing double.